Hi guys, welcome back to Cooking with the Salmons and this is Greg. Now today I'm going to be teaching you how I make my chocolate covered mangoes, alright? Now this is a very delicious treat. I love mangoes and I love chocolate so it's a great combination, alright? Now before we do that, just go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Hit that post notification bell as well so you'll be notified each time we post, alright? And without further delay, let's get started. Okay guys, so these are the simple ingredients that we need to make our chocolate covered mangoes, all right? So as you see here, I've already prepared the mangoes. You could slice them however you choose. And I also prefer to use a mango that's not fully, fully ripened so that, you know, it's the texture is a little bit more hard, the um, flavor is a little bit more tart, and it has a great combination when you combine that with the sweetness of the chocolate. All right, so I'm gonna show you just how I got the skewers in. We basically, we slice our mangoes. I choose to slice them in, you know, strips like this. You can do them however you choose. I also have a piece of paper towel. So I'll hold it and I'll just insert the, the skewer in as far as will allow it to be firm on the skewer. All right, also use a paper towel before dipping to kind of get the moisture of the mango because um, it's when, when you dip it in chocolate, it will, the chocolate will adhere better if it's, um, if it's dry and free of moisture, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead now and show you exactly how we do that. Now, as you can see, my chocolate is already melted and I'm gonna show you in a, I'm gonna leave a link above to show you exactly how to go ahead and get your chocolate melted. It's quite simple. The method I like to use is the microwave method where you um, you melt the chocolate in the microwave for about 30 seconds. You stir it, then go ahead and melt again the 30 seconds until you get the consistency that you'd like, all right? But I'll leave a link above and it will show you exactly how I do it, all right? So first thing first, as you can see, our chocolate is already you know melted I'm gonna go ahead and start dipping so in order to get an uh, even coat sometimes they if, if the if the mango slices are too long and your container is not uh, deep enough you could always lean your container in order to get full coverage so as you see here this is not long enough so I'm gonna go ahead and just lean my container to get full coverage on the mango slice. All right. I'll just drain the excess. And if you, if you want to do a double dip, you can always do so. But I'll drain the excess first of all, and then I'll place my mango on my silicone mat. Forgot to mention, silicone mat is um is a good thing to have because uh when you place the mangoes on it or anything chocolate it won't stick all right so i'll go ahead and i'll do the others and i'll show you the end result Okay guys, so you'd go ahead and repeat the process until all your mango slices have been fully coated. Now guys, you could have these just as they are, or you could decide to make them look a little bit more fancy and put some drizzles over them. And to do that, would basically get a piping bag and you'd pour some of this um, chocolate in the piping bag. You'd make a small hole in that bag and then you'd create your drizzles. I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it when I've completed coating these apples, these mangoes, I'm sorry.
Okay guys, so now we'll allow these to dry and then I'll go ahead and um, start decorating. Okay guys, before decorating, I'd li I like to do a test drizzle. I'm gonna be using some red chocolate. So I just wanna make sure that the flow of my chocolate is what I'd like it to be. And that's fine. So then I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle. Let's get these a little bit closer. Drizzle my chocolate across like this, basically. There's no real method to it. Just drizzle right across and this is what it looks like. All right. Let's do another one. All right. And just like that, your chocolate covered mangoes have been decorated. All right. I can also use a uh, any other color you choose I'm gonna go ahead and use my dark chocolate as well I'd have preferred white but um, I don't think I have any white chocolate right now so let's go ahead and show you how I do my dark chocolate I'm gonna do a test drizzle again. And that to me is perfect. So go ahead and start drizzling. All right. And there you have it. You could always decorate these however you choose. You can get very creative. I'm gonna also do another video to show you the many variations that you can use to decorate these. All right? So there you have it. Chocolate covered mangoes made easy. And there you have it. Chocolate covered mangoes made easy. Now if you gained any knowledge from this video, just go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Hit that post notification bell as well so you'll be notified each time we post. All right? Now, if you'd like to see any other treats, just drop it in the comment section and we'll be sure to get to it. All right? And until next time, walk good, one love, and big up on yourself.